Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I get a ton of questions on what I use for my hair and what I use for my skincare routine. So tonight I just thought I would share with you guys my favorite products and what I use in my hair and what my skincare routine is and the products that I use. Um, before we get started though, I did want to say there are going to be some products I show you that have been from my BoxyCharm boxes that I get every month. So I'll let you know what products are the BoxyCharm items and what are not. And then everything else is from Walmart or Target. So I'm not the type of person that buys really expensive um, hair products or really expensive skincare routine items. The things that came in my BoxyCharm are obviously um, going to be, some of them might be on the more pricey side than what I would normally spend. But that's why I was excited to share this stuff with you guys because the things that I purchase are really budget friendly. And I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't like to save money? So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I've been meaning to do it for a really long time and I finally got the kids to bed tonight and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down and do this video. So I think I'm gonna start with the skincare routine. Um, my face is not flawless, but it has gotten a lot better. And part of that has been like the diet change, but I started using probably a year and a half, two years ago, this African black soap. The brand is Shea Moisture, and this says it's for acne prone. It's an acne prone face and body bar. I only use this on my face, but I keep it in my shower. Let's see if you guys can. And I wash my face with it every day in the shower. This is my absolute favorite soap ever for my face. I don't use any kind of face wash anymore in the shower. I only use this. Um, it actually lathers really well and this bar lasts me forever. I mean, this will last seven, eight months and it's just like a regular size bar of soap. So I got this at Target. I know Walmart also sells it, but for some reason my Walmart is out of stock a lot. So I usually end up getting it at Target and I wanna say regular price on this is like $3.99 and they have it on Cartwheel a lot. So always check Cartwheel just to be safe, but wash my face with this every day in the shower. Favorite stuff ever. Um, before I put my makeup on every day, my skin is generally really dry. So I get really flaky dry patches. So I always have to put lotion on my face. Um, when I get out of the shower, I always put lotion on my face before bed. I just have extremely dry skin. My hands are really dry in the winter. Um, and I used to use like a primer before I would put my makeup on. And I'm not against using primers. It's just that obviously you get a smaller bottle and they're really expensive. And like I said, just the way my skin is, is it's very dry. I also have a problem with, I feel like my skin can get very oily as well. So I didn't want anything. Sometimes you have to be careful with certain like lotions because they're scented or they make your skin even more greasy feeling and they don't rub in well and yeah. So I found this lotion it is from Target. It's the Up and Up brand. Don't mind my nails, quarantine. I've got two of these dip nails left on. I need to get them off, so sorry, I just had to say that. But this whole bottle is just over 20 ounces and it is a $1.99 regular price. I put this on my face every day before I put my makeup on. I will rub it all over my face and I let it dry for a couple minutes before I start my makeup. This stuff is amazing. I also use it on my hands, I use it on my legs. It's a complete body lotion. Um, what I love about it is it is not greasy at all. Like you can rub it in and it doesn't leave that greasy, gross feeling. It rubs in really well and it's not scented. So it's great for sensitive skin. Um, two of my kids have very sensitive skin and this is also something that says it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. So if you have sensitive skin and they say you can pair this to the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented Lotion. So. It says um, it's prescription strength moisturization, clinically proven to heal very dry skin in five days and non-greasy. I swear by this stuff, you guys, my favorite lotion ever. So this is what I put on my face every day before I put my makeup on. When it comes to taking my makeup off, so that's so far my skincare routine. I wash my face with the African black soap in the shower and then I put the lotion on before I do my makeup. When it comes to taking makeup off, I have two favorite kinds of makeup remover just kind of depending on what you prefer. I use both and I don't use both. I should rephrase that. I use one at a time. So I'm not going to use both of these on the same evening, but one day I might use a makeup wipe. The other day I might use the balm. So if you are the type that likes the, um, makeup wipes that are kind of like, you know, the wet makeup wipes, these ones I swear by. So they just say makeup remover wipes and the brand is pure and gentle. These are from Walmart. I came across these because they got substituted once in a grocery order. And like I've said a million times before, I have very sensitive skin. So I was really 
hesitant to try these and I'm really glad I did because they're like 98 cents. You get 30 of them. Yeah, 30 of them. It says it removes long lasting makeup, dermatologist, dermatologist tested and it's alcohol free and oil free. This stuff gets my makeup off, does not make me break out. They're extremely cheap and they are also hard to come by. I feel like my Walmart is always sold out of them. So I will add one randomly to like a grocery order every now and then just so I kind of have these on hand because they are seriously my favorite. I have told all my friends about these. I have my mom using them. My best friend is using them. So like, honestly, the cheapest makeup remover I've ever found and it works extremely well. So here is what the package looks like. Just the Pure and Gentle brand makeup remover wipes. I swear by these. Now, if you're not the type that likes like the makeup remover wipes, um, oh, one more thing about those, they do not dry out. So I don't wear makeup every day. So if you're not the type of person that wears makeup every day, once they're open, I don't put them in any other kind of container or a bag. These ones are already open. They seal back up just fine. I always make sure I get the air out. They smell good. They're not like overly scented though and they do not dry out. So that's a plus side if you're not someone that wears makeup every single day. Um, but if you do not like the makeup wipes, I got this in my BoxyCharm just this last month, just here in March, my very last BoxyCharm. So it is, the brand is Pharmacy. You can kind of see, but it's F-A-R-M. Um, and this is the Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So it says it's a limited edition made exclusively for BoxyCharm. So I'm not sure how you guys could go about getting this. Maybe if you already get BoxyCharm and you did not get this, maybe they'll have it out for you to purchase. But this stuff smells amazing and you literally just rub it on like this all over your full face of makeup. And then I rinse it with warm water or you can use like a warm washcloth and wipe it off. But I just rinse it with water and then pat my face dry with a towel. So when you open it, it has this kind of like little spatula and it does not take much at all. This stuff will last you forever. It smells, like I said, amazing. Wish you guys could smell it, it's so good. And then you just take this little spatula, get some out, I put it on my hands and rub it all over my face. It gets eye makeup off everything. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. The first time I used it, I kind of got too much and I was like, oh, I really didn't need that much. So it really just takes a tiny bit and it seriously melts your makeup off. It is amazing, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm not sure, cause it says, that is exclusively made for BoxyCharm. I'm guessing probably just the scent was exclusively made. So if you guys can find um, like the regular stuff, if they have it or if they have other scents, I love this stuff too. Honestly, swear by this. Not sure what it retails for because BoxyCharm did not send me the little card in the last two boxes that tell you what things retail for. And this month I didn't even get like the digital card. I got one last month. So I would have to look that up. Sorry. Maybe I'll try to remember to find it and I'll put it in the um, description for you guys. And I will also try to link items in the description for anyone who is interested in any of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> so after I take my makeup off before I go to bed, this is another one of my favorites and I should have, and I should check and see if it's still available on BoxyCharm. These last two face or skincare items are both BoxyCharm items. So this one, the brand is, I believe it's pronounced Avent. It's a Shea Butter um, Rice Brand Age Radiance 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. So this stuff is amazing. This tiny little bottle is 1.69 fluid ounces. So here's what it looks like. And I did, I believe this came in my very first BoxyCharm and I got the card in that one and this said it retailed for $107. This stuff is amazing. It smells really good. It takes a little bit. It's another one of those things where a little bit goes a long way. It just has a really clean, like fresh scent. It's not fruity or perfumey at all. And I think that's why I really like it because it's a sleep mask. So after I take my makeup off, since I started using this, I don't put lotion on, I put this on and it rubs in really well. It doesn't leave your face feeling greasy or anything like that. And it has not made me break out. I've been using it for a few months now and I honestly love this stuff. So I will rub that all over my face before I go to bed. And then I take this stuff, um, which is also my last boxy charm item for the skincare that I'm going to show you. Here's the brand, um, Murad, Murad, not quite sure how to pronounce it because this came in my last boxy charm as well. And once again, didn't have the card, so I'm not sure what this retails for, but it's a hydrodynamic ultimate moisture for eyes. So what you do is you just pat it into like right around your eyes. 
So I pat it right after I've put my sleep mask on, I'll pat it around my eyes and underneath my eyes. And once again, a little bit goes a long ways. Um, I did just get this a couple weeks ago, but I've been using it every night and you can see it is still full, like full to the top. There's even some like on the lid. So this stuff pats in really nicely as well, not greasy. Um, it was actually one of my choice items. I could have chosen this. There was one other thing I can't remember now. I could have chosen this and an eyeshadow palette, I think, and maybe something else. And I am really self-conscious about wrinkles because when I smile, I have really bad crow's feet. So I'm hoping I need to take better care of my skin because that's something I've always been like kind of negligent with. So I read the reviews on this and this got extremely good reviews. I wanna say their website sold it for around $70. Not 100% sure, so don't hold me to that. But my friend and I both looked at that, but we both chose this, and I've been really happy with it so far. I've only been using it for a week and a half, maybe two weeks, um, and I really like it so far. So that is everything I use for my skincare. Really simple. I'm not someone that has time for a ton of steps. I don't think a lot of moms do, but I do really want to start taking better care of my skin. So those are what the items that are staples for me, the stuff I use every single day. If I get um, products in BoxyCharm that are skincare products or I get samples, I'll definitely try them out and I definitely use them, but this is what's worked for me so far and these are my favorites. But moving on to hair, everyone comments on how healthy my hair looks and I think that that's the sweetest thing ever and I honestly have never felt like it looks healthy. Um, I used to get it highlighted all the time. I have not had it highlighted in several years, probably like four years at least, maybe five. So this is all like natural color. Um, I get kind of natural looking highlights and stuff from the sun. One of my things that I would say that has made my ha hair seem so healthy is a couple years ago, I quit washing it every single day. I have extremely thick hair. It used to be, you can see now it's gotten pretty long. It used to be down to my waist, you guys. And in June, I cut it and it sat like right on top of my shoulders. So it has grown this much since June. So it's grown quite a bit in, you know, not even a year. So the thing that I think has helped my hair the most is not washing it every single day. I was a big wash my hair, shampoo, conditioner every single day because it's so thick. I always was afraid it looked greasy and gross and nasty. And now I wash it like maybe twice a week. So I washed it today. Let's see, today's Sunday. I probably won't wash it again until Thursday. And I straightened it and everything, you know, blow dry it, straighten it, all that stuff today. <clears throat> if I were to be going out and about, which I'm not because we're following the quarantine, but if I was, I might have to touch up a couple pieces with the straightener, but I usually wear it down straight for a couple of days. And then on like the second or third day, sometimes I'll curl it because my hair obviously curls better, like dirty, or I throw it up in a bun or a ponytail. So let me show you guys what I use for my hair. Again, not anything expensive or super exciting, but these are just the products that I have found worked for me and they're just what I swear by. So this is my absolute favorite shampoo. I actually don't even remember how I came across this, but it's the Tresemme and it's the Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera. This is the shampoo. It's a brand new bottle I just got from Walmart a couple weeks ago because my other one was running out and because I don't wash my hair every day, we don't go through that much shampoo because Chris obviously doesn't have to use a ton. He has short hair. Um, but this is the shampoo and the conditioner I use. The conditioner actually comes in a white bottle and Walmart was out of it and I need more. So I ended up having to order it from Target. I almost said Amazon from Target and it's coming like Tuesday, I think. So that's why I don't have the shampoo, the conditioner to show you. I have a bottle up in my shower now, but it's like all <laughs> smashed in cause it's like barely got any left. So I use the shampoo and conditioner in the coconut milk and aloe vera scent and it smells really good. I love coconut. So to me, it smells amazing and it's $4.99 a bottle. So that's a good deal for shampoo. I feel like it's on the cheaper end of what I've seen for some um, shampoos. Another new thing I got in my BoxyCharm this month was this yogurt hair mask and the scent is almond honey. So the brand is Project Beauty and it says hair girt. Not sure once again on the price, but the last couple of times I've washed my hair, I think I've used this maybe three times now. Instead of using conditioner, I've washed my hair with my shampoo. And after I wash the shampoo out, I've been putting this in and letting it sit. It says five to 10 minutes. I'm probably honestly letting it sit only more like five. And then I'm washing it out. It has left my hair so 
soft. I love it. So I have replaced my conditioner with this. One of my really good friends does hair and I asked her, I'm like, do you put this in after conditioner? She's like, you can, but a lot of people use this in substitution of conditioner. So I thought I would do this. It's an intense repair yogurt. And it just says that it helps repair damaged, fragile, and brittle, brittle hair. It smells amazing. The, I don't know why I'm smelling everything. Like all this stuff smells amazing and I'm smelling it like you guys can too. But this stuff smells amazing and it leaves your hair extremely soft. And one thing I also really liked about it is having super thick hair. If I don't use conditioner, I usually cannot even get a brush through my hair. Starting at the top of my hair, I can't get a brush through my hair. This stuff is just like using conditioner. I can brush it out easily. It also helps that I use the um, wet brushes, but I'm able to brush my hair out just as if I would if I would have used conditioner. So that is amazing. Um, after I get out of the shower, I always throw my hair up in a towel to let it dry for a few minutes. And once I take it out of the towel, I brush it out and I always add this um, leave-in conditioning cream. So the brand is the Garnier Fructis, and it says it's for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. Not sure I really meet that criteria anymore. I used to always say I had really frizzy and dry hair and I feel like my hair has gotten so much better. But this is like barely any left in the bottom, like barely. I need to order more, but Target, Walmart, everywhere has been out of it. But here is what I swear by. I even have a little travel size bottle that I keep in Aniston's bathroom. I'm not sure if hers is the same, if it says, I mean, it's this brand and it looks the same, but I never really paid attention if hers said it was for the frizzy, dry, <laughs> unmanageable hair, but I put this in her hair as well. This also smells really good and leaves your hair super soft. So after I let my hair towel dry for a few minutes, I brush it out. I put this in my hands, kind of rub it like this, add it to my hair, kind of brush it through with my fingers. And then I let it sit for a few minutes before I blow dry my hair. So another thing I love and swear by, can't go wrong with it. And then every time before I blow dry my hair or before I curl it with my curling wand, I always spray the Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Perfection Straightening Mist. So it says it has 450 degree heat protection and 48 hour straight finish. It has argon oil and the flexible hold level is a one. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I'm a big fan. Um, this and this both last an extremely long time. They both last a really long time. So even though this is a flat iron perfection straightening mist, like I said, I use it before I curl my hair as well. I just feel better using it because I feel like it protects my hair. Um, I always have my flat iron on like 410 degrees. So um, I always spray this all over my hair every time before I use my flat iron or my curling wand. Um, I do use hairspray. My hair has hairspray in it right now. I After I've straightened it, I will just like spray a little bit of hairspray and kind of do the top as well, just to get kind of any wispy like flyaway pieces that are like standing straight up. This is my favorite hairspray and it is a citrus scent. I was trying to see, sorry, if it said the name of it. You can hear Chris, he's talking to some friends. <laughs> he's playing video games with, but um, hmm, I guess it doesn't have scent. It's, just, it's citrus, but it smells really good. So the hairspray is Herbal Essence. I like it because it doesn't leave your hair like crunchy. Like even if you accidentally spray too much, it's not crunchy. So that's the hairspray I love. And then like I told you guys, I only wash my hair a couple of times a week. So by the third and fourth day of it not being washed, so like tomorrow I won't need dry shampoo because I washed it today. By Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm gonna need some dry shampoo. Maybe not on Tuesday, but Wednesday for sure, especially when I'm going to the gym. Of course, my gym is closed right now with everything going on. So I'll be working out from home starting this week. <clears throat> I kind of took this past week off. We had company and all that. So this is the dry shampoo I swear by. I love it so, 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 so much. My One of my good friends got me hooked on it. Excuse me. And I bought my first bottle from Ulta. Then I started buying it at Target and Walmart because obviously it's way cheaper at Target and Walmart. But it is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo Plus. And I get the one that has a hint of color and beautiful brunette. Love this stuff so much. This as well lasts forever. I think I started using this brand when Aniston was a baby and this might be like my third bottle of this and she's five. So this is, it's just crazy, but it works really well. It's not one that if you spray too much, like it doesn't, I don't want to spray it since my hair is so clean right now. I don't need it. I don't want to waste it, but it's not one that leaves like I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't leave any flaky stuff or anything. It does add the hint of color. I know they have ones that you can get without the hint of color in the Batiste brand. 
This is honestly the only one I've ever tried, the one with the brunette. So I've only, I've never tried any of their other ones, but I know people who have and love them. I think it's just a great brand all around. But I have noticed if I've accidentally sprayed too much or too close and it can kind of look like gray or something, I just take my hands and like rub it in and brush it out and it's gone. So it's not something that like stay, you know what I mean? Like it's easy to kind of work with. And it always leaves my hair looking great. I never have greasy looking hair. Everyone's always like, oh my gosh, do you like wash your hair every day? Dry shampoo. So that's another thing I feel like that's really helped my hair get healthy because like I said, I was washing it every single day with shampoo and conditioner. So now just washing it like twice a week and using some dry shampoo when I need it, not every day, just when I need it, when it's, you know, kind of at the end, <laughs> I feel like it really helps. So, and I also will add a little squirt in after I curl my hair with a curling wand. I'll add a tiny bit to the top and then I kind of just, you know, tease my hair up to add volume and it's really great with that too. So those are my favorite skincare and hair products. Like I said, I've been meaning to share those with you guys for a really long time. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and share with me, leave me a comment. Let me know what your guys' favorite hair and skincare product is. Um, I will try to link everything that I can. Um, like I said, most of this stuff is extremely easy to find at any Walmart, Target, anything, any kind of retail, grocery store, all that kind of stuff. Um, I will try to link the stuff that I got off of my box or out of my boxy terms as well. But yeah, those are my favorite items. So thanks again, you guys. I appreciate all of the love and support. We are gaining subscribers so fast and it is so crazy to me. So before we know it, we're going to be at that 10K because don't forget, I would love to do a giveaway at 10K. So I still need to film the Q&A that you guys left questions for. And I'm hoping that with all this extra time we're spending at home, now that we don't have any company or anything like that, I will be able to spend a lot more time working on our channel. So as always, thank you guys. We love you so much. And I hope everybody had a great weekend. Stay safe and healthy.